Flickster was an American social movie site for discovering new movies, learning about movies, and meeting others with similar tastes in movies. The site allows users to view movie trailers as well as learn about the new and upcoming movies in the box office. The site is based in San Francisco, California and was founded by Joe Greenstein and Saran Chari in 2007. Flickster has been the parent of website Rotten Tomatoes since January 2010. On February 17, 2016, Flickster, including Rotten Tomatoes, was acquired by Fandango. History In February 2016, Fandango acquired Flickster. Fandango began migrating Flickster video users to its competing service called Fandango Now and will close the Flickster video service. On August 28, 2017, Flickster shut down their digital redemption and streaming video service and directed customers to use Voodoo. On December 22, 2017, Flickster sent an email to customers informing that Flickster in the U.S. would cease all operations as of February 20, 2018. Starting in late January 2018, visitors to www.flickster.com were encouraged to download the Flickster app or were redirected to www.fandango.com. Users are also directed to continue watching videos and redeem digital codes via Voodoo. In February 2018, the Flickster website is no longer functioning and directs users to Fandango.com. Flickster Video's website and mobile apps, including Ultraviolet Code Redemption, streaming, and downloading services are still available in various other countries such as Canada. <laughs> Site information Between November 2006 and January 2007, the number of daily page views by Alexa Toolbar users rose from fewer than 20 million per days to around 50 million per days. Alexa no longer June 2008, provides numbers of daily page views, but the number of page views as a percentage decreased by almost two-thirds from mid-December 2007 to mid-June 2008. Quantcast reports that the number of global daily page views for Flickster.com peaked at 8,331,961 on January 23, 2008 and dropped to 1,325,685 by July 5, 2008. Flickster Flickster's Facebook application, called Movies, has consistently been one of the most popular apps on the site. Daily user totals peaked in December 2007. Flickster Collections, a desktop application featuring a content discovery and management system, began open beta testing on July 29, 2011. This was a common trend among Facebook applications, attributed to what has been described as app fatigue. Facebook no longer displays daily active use, but instead monthly active use. As of September 2010, its popularity has waned significantly, and its 2.98 million monthly active users place the Movies app as the number 9 most used entertainment application on Facebook, but ranked at only number 92 overall. <laughs> Marketing practices. Flickster's growth has been described in the trade press as attributable to its aggressive viral marketing practices, including the automated selection of your email account's entire address book in order to send a Flickster invitation to all of your contacts. Although Flickster claims this procedure is an industry standard used by other services, Flickster differs in that their system automatically selects all contacts in the user's address book and requires the user to manually unselect each address individually to prevent email from being sent in the user's name. Co-founder Joe Greenstein has described the difference between Flickster and other sites as, We make it easy to invite your friends. Other sites don't provide good ways for people to spread the word. As a consequence of its policy of emailing users' entire address books with advertisements for the site, the website has been criticized on numerous internet blogs. At one time email from Flickster to Hotmail users was being filtered and deleted as spam. Around August 2012, the Flickster website stopped allowing public access. Viewers must log in using a free account or Facebook. Topic. Other supported platforms 
Recently, Flixster has begun allowing users to watch movies on several different platforms via ultraviolet. Topic: <laughs> Social media platforms. Babo, Facebook, MySpace, Orkut Flixster has developed applications for several social networking sites. These apps have many of the same features as the main Flixster site, such as ratings, reviews, and user-generated quizzes. In addition, all offered social media integration and mobile app usage is offered free of charge, allowing more users to download its application. The first of these applications was released in June 2007 on the Facebook platform. In March 2008, a MySpace app followed, which had 3,923,506 users as of July 2008. This made it the second most popular application on the MySpace platform. In addition to the Facebook and MySpace apps, Flixster has also developed applications for Babo and Orkut. Topic: <laughs> Mobile and desktop platforms. Android, BlackBerry, iOS, Windows Phone. In August 2008, Flixster released an iOS application, which allows users to access movie showtimes, reviews, and trailers. Furthermore, this iPhone and iPod app for Flixster is the number one movie application on the platform. Flixster has also released apps for Android mobile phones, Windows Phone, and BlackBerry phones. In August 2010, Flixster hit 20 million combined mobile application downloads and has ranked as the top movie app on iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry. Flixster has released a Windows 8 app. In April 2014, Flixster's app was updated with Chromecast support, allowing users to cast movies to a Chromecast connected device. A streaming-only app, Flixster Video, has also been released. This app handles only movie streaming, as this function has been removed from the movies by Flixster app. In November 2017, the Flixster app was removed from all non-US stores, and thus only available in the US only. It was later restored in 2018, though without support for finding local movie screening times. Topic. See also. IMDb Movie Phone